Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another video and in this video I am going to be um, helping you guys to fix your video quality. Now whenever I upload to YouTube, well I used to have this problem but I have recently fixed this um, a few years ago and I just wanted to share it with everybody. So pretty much, I don't know if you are having this problem but if you are, um, what it is is like when you upload your videos to YouTube they'll be like blurry and pixelated and I'm not talking about like letting it process because it'll do that like if you don't give it enough time if you don't give it like 30 minutes to an hour or maybe even a few hours to process then they'll be in like standard definition but like if it has completely processed to YouTube if it is completely processed to YouTube and it's still like blurry and pixelated and all that stuff um, I'm gonna show you guys in this video how to fix it now to start off with I'm gonna go to my channel and show you um, one of my videos so if we go to this one and we turn it to full you see it's in 1440 by 60 which is 2k resolution and then I open it up right here We're getting the controls no but you see the quality looks fine it looks and, really good and uh, if you right click on it and go to stats for nerds it'll show up here it says uh, 2560 by 1440 um, 60 frames per second and the VP09 right here VP09 Kodak you're gonna want to get that and this is what you're gonna have to do I'll also show you a video um, on my channel that actually I just recently uploaded from a stream and it was in 720p 30 frames per second and that's not the reason why the quality looks so much worse is that I didn't oh, get the Kodak that I need see how it looks blurry and oh, very yeah. pixelated and stuff I'm sure you guys are having this problem especially when there's a lot of movement on the screen so if you go to um, stats for nerds and you look Kodak AVC1 you don't want that Kodak so if we click out of this and we go to this what you're gonna want to do is very simple whatever software you're using it doesn't matter I'm using Femora Wondershare Femora 9 um, but you go whenever you export your video um, and whatever you're using what you're gonna want to do and this is the, like pretty much one of the only things that's gonna factor is the resolution um, type in 2560 so 2560 by 1440 and then um, a mines are in 60 frames per second your frame rate is not gonna affect it um, my bitrate um, 30,000 kilobits if that is in megabits it's gonna be 30 if it's in kilobits it's in thousands so 30 megabits is 30,000 kilobits so I do mine in 30,000 because my video is only recorded in like 22 so I do in 30 um, depending on your internet speeds if you have really fast internet I would probably go between 60 and 80 right here 80 is right here but I go between 60 and 80,000 kilobits um, if you have slower internet I would say between the 20 and 30,000 range um, you know I render mine in 30,000 um, kilobits uh, 2k resolution which is 2560 by 1440 60 frames per second and my videos look fine so I would just stick to settings like this so 30,000 kilobits and or um, 30 megabits um, they're the same thing and then frame rate 60 frames per second and then resolution 2560 by 1440 and then this video was 15 minutes long this one of my videos and it was 3.4 uh, gigabytes um, or right here it says it's in megabytes so it's 3459 but videos like this um, it doesn't really bump the file size up too much it does a little bit the main thing that's gonna bump your file size up is a bit rate that's why I said I would stick especially if you have slower internet around where I'm at between 20 and 30 thousand kilobits um, but yeah that should do it um, now whenever you want to watch the video if you do want to watch it in full quality and it have no you know no blurriness or anything like that now 1080p might still be good but for the most part you're gonna have to watch them back and everybody else is gonna have to watch them back in 2k resolution no, it's been a while since and it's like it runs off like if you're watching it 1080p even though I record 1080p 60 frames per second if I upload it in 2k resolution you're still gonna have to have fast enough internet to watch it in 2k resolution so if you have slow internet you might not be able to run like watch your videos back like my internet is pretty good but it's not fast enough to run a video in 2k resolution I'm currently on my hotspot that's the whole reason I can watch this back and, so um, I as you can see it looks good and this kind of game would be one that would be channel. very blurry because of the textures and stuff and it looks 100% fine I also have an old Fortnite video that I'll show real quick before I end off this video um, where's it at um, I thought I had one um, I guess I haven't recorded any Fortnite other than this one but you guys did see that the videos look completely different like I have some um, Salt and Sanctuary um, videos. Hey, what is up, guys? Right here. I'm back with another video, and in this video, we are going to be continuing. Okay, as you can see, it looks fine. Our Salt and Sanctuary um, series. So yeah, if you do this, literally, it's very simple, very easy. 
right click make sure after your video uploads you give it 30 minutes an hour however long you need for it to completely process and you check and if it says VP09 then you know your video is completely okay it's processed how it needs to everything's fine um, just make sure you do it in uh, 2560 by 1440 resolution and you will be 100% okay um, but I do hope this video helped you out if it did don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time